Welcome back. Time now for our first midday forum, and joining us is Brittany Massio with Nebraska Loves Public Schools. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me, Owen. You can get soaked when you came in, right? Yeah. No, no. no good, thankfully, good. it's been rain, rain, nonstop. Right? I know. Right. I know. Well, we've got something exciting to talk about. You do, I should say, uh, an important film coming up involving uh, regarding mental health mm -hmm. and our, our students here in Nebraska. And take it, take it from there, please. Sure. Yeah. So Nebraska Loves Public Schools is a documentary film project, mm -hmm. and we've been around for almost ten years, and so we look at positive things happening in public schools, but we also look at issues in public education. So our new film is focused on mental health. Mm -hmm. and specifically, I mean, that's a kind of a, you know, a broad uh, you know, category, right? Mental health. But what mm -hmm. specifically are you looking at? Yeah, so um, the series that we have is called The Mind Inside. And so we've released one episode so far. And that, that first episode was kind of, what does mental health look like in mm -hmm. middle school, through the eyes of a middle schooler? Oh, okay. right. And this second episode that we're about to premiere on um, October 11th is all about what social media does to um, impact the, the mental health of our students now, today. That's a huge question. I've got mm -hmm. middle schoolers, I've got high schoolers, and let me tell you, they're, they're on their phones, on the computers, they're, you know, they're seeing what people are saying about them. That's the mm -hmm. thing in middle school. These kids are always wondering mm -hmm. what people are saying about them, what the, where the next party is, why they weren't invited. Mm -hmm. If that doesn't affect mental health, I don't know what does. What are you finding? Yeah, so we talked to middle school and high school students and we really got to understand from their perspective what it looks like to have that device always connected to them. Mm -hmm. And then we also talked to teachers to see how that really impacts the classroom. So anywhere from just distraction and fo focus issues to cyberbullying. And um, we talked to experts in the field too to really understand how does this affect impact the brain development and why kids are performing the way they are today and what makes it so complicated for them to do well. Well, and you know, there was a time not, not too long ago, I, I know, some teachers in schools were saying, I know cell phones, can't have them in the classroom, and, that, and they, they were overwhelmed, all right? Mm -hmm. they, this, the phones came and from every direction, every corner, you couldn't stop it. So now, as, as I understand it, I think the phones are allowed with the kids, they just can't have them out. Uh, but they're with, you, they're with these kids 24-7. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I don't know what the research says and the scientific studies say, but what are you trying to do with these films? What are you trying to expose here? So I think the biggest thing with these films is just to create an awareness of what's happening. So specifically with social media and mental health, I think it's all about discovery because it's so new. Everything that's happening and the way that it's changing how school looks like today is something that I think it needs a lot of empathy and understanding to really get what kids go through today and what it feels like to have that pressure on them. Okay, so if a parent or, or a student or a teacher wants to see this film, access it, how do you, how do you go about doing it? So that? we have a big premiere event on Thursday, October 10th at the Alamo in La Vista. Alamo, okay. And okay. then on Friday, we're going to be releasing it online at ilovps.org, so Friday, October 11th. And anyone can view it? Anyone can view it. How long is the film? It's about 30 minutes. Okay, so yeah. that's not too long. Yeah, it's I don't have two hours for a film these days, you know, with kids running around. I, you know, you know, it's, a, you know, it's a good time. You can even talk about it afterwards. No, exactly. Um, and, and then finally, uh, you said there was a first one. This is a second one. Is there another one coming? There, there are more coming. More, so okay. this is a big series that we're looking at because, like you said earlier, mental health is such a big and complicated topic. Oh, absolutely. So we have, um, we're looking at urban issues and rural issues. We're looking at the wellness of teachers and how mm -hmm. that impacts what school looks like and how kids interact. So. Very, very so it's a big issue. Very it's a big good. Issue no, I'm on. glad you're delving into it. You just never know what's going through the mind of a teenager. Life is hard enough being a teen. Yeah. You throw all yeah. this stuff on there to complicate it, and uh, you know it's just like uh, it can be you know, chaotic. So and it's okay. good. For, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna watch. It's gonna be interesting. Good. Thank well, you. Thank, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. Stay dry. <laughs> thank you. All right. <laughs> we'll be right back with our second midday guest. You're watching Channel 8 Eyewitness News Midday.